bad chat. Bad chat got me thinking. Got me thinking about that saying something goes like, you are the product of the five people you surround yourself with, or you are similar to the people you surround yourself with, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And I think and feel like it is obviously no different to the training partners you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with some training partners, if you don't, hopefully after hearing this little bad chat, it will help inspire you to make some friends in the gymnasium and get yourself some gym bros and gym sisters and some gym humans, some cool peeps to hang out with. Looking back at my history of lifting things the whole time, I've always managed to successfully have a good gym friend to hang out with over the years. And in fact, they're still fucking hanging out with me. How fucking cool is that? Shout out Buddha back in the glory days where we'd just be training shoulders and chest and being skinny as shit and weak as piss, but having a hoot of a time. And my boy, Kevy B, who was a fucking alien of strength, an incredible human, still hanging around, still being training partners which is super cool. And then over the years, I've had the privilege of training alongside so many cool, rad, strong people, which we'll talk about, and also just generally awesome humans I've had the privilege of hanging out with, align myself up with to get the best out of myself with some selfish pursuit of, I guess, hanging out with those cool, pu- cool humans so I can get better is the whole point of it all and the other thing to consider with training partners and you as them the better you are all together collectively the old story of the rising tide raises all boats fucking love that one so training partner there is an analogy or a thought process that everyone thinks and says and even including myself have repped the benefits of this experience and that is you should surround yourself with only those that are stronger than you better than you That's definitely one thing to do, and I've done it, and it's fucking rad. It can be, and has been for me as well, incredibly intimidating experience. If you're rocking up to the gym all the time and everyone is infinitely stronger than you, you can feel intimidated. You feel small, feel a bit challenged, a bit reserved, and a bit sort of taken back by it all. But... If you can overcome that experience when you surround yourself with all those stronger people, you will inherently get way stronger because of that experience. They will pull you with them. You'll be around these people that have obviously been around, no doubt, for a lot longer than you have. This is a great opportunity to learn. Have a chat to these humans. Find out what ticks, why they do it. You'll see them start doing some accessories. You'll be like, whoa. What is that one? Why do you do that one? Perhaps these training partners, uh, these people that are stronger than you who are coached by different coaches. The, the opportunity and experience to be able to hang out and chat to those and pick their little brands on how they do stuff, which is super cool as well. However, for me, these days, what's more important is the person, not necessarily how strong they are, is what's important to me and who I hang out with in the gym and who I spend my time with. The person to me is what is most important. If they're stronger than me, it's a nice little bonus. However, it's not a negative at the same time. I just want to be around good people when I go to the gym. I want to be around like-minded people. I want to go around people who want to be challenged and they want to overcome it. I want to be around people that want to work fucking hard. Because on the days that I don't, because I'm tired, I'm sore, I'm beat up, low on motivation, they won't be. So they will pull me with them. They will help me, inspire me to train better. They don't need to be stronger than me to be able to do that, do they? They just need to be motivated just like me as well. They don't need to know more than I do about the gym, but these people probably will know more about things that I don't know much about. So for me, I'll get to have a learning experience about things outside of the gym. 
which is one of the cool things I love, being within the four walls of a great gym, all those people in there all do a million different things. So the things you get to learn about outside of the gym is really fucking cool as well. These people have different coaches as well, potentially, so you can still chat to those coaches and learn and see what they have going on. Potentially that experience of training with other people that might not even be doing the same task that you're doing, let's call powerlifting, they're not powerlifting, they're doing something else, you get to learn other things. And how other people train, how they do things as well, you might find, let's say they're a crossfitter, for example, you're training with a crossfitter, you can still do a back squat, they can still do a back squat, their accessories are going to change, and no doubt they're fucking way fitter than you. What a great time and a great opportunity for you to get a little bit fitter <laughs> as well. So at the end of this chat, I guess what I do is I urge you all to sit back when you're in the gym, look at the people you're surrounding yourself with. Make sure they are people that are on the same path as you, going in the same direction, wanting the same things, wanting similar things at least. They are motivated people. They're inspired people. People want more. People want to be better. Because on the days that you don't, they will help you encourage you and motivate you like i said and inspire you and most importantly as well keep you accountable training partner relationships go two ways that's something to be remembered don't be just all take with a training partner make sure you're giving back be across their things ask them what they're doing give a fuck about what they're doing outside of the gym not just inside the gym offer to help offer to assist all the time if they're turning up on a tuesday because they got something on on a monday if you can do the same, fucking do it. Because I guarantee they would do it for you. If they're still training and you're finished, hang around. Or at the very least, just say, hey, hey, bro, I'm going to wrap it up a bit early today. How much you got left? Do you need me to hang back? Because too often not, you'll see person A, person B, fist bump and say good day. See you later. And they didn't even think to ask their training partner. Hey, bro, how many sets do you got left? Do you need to handle those things? Because that will go a long way. So make sure you're aware of that training partner relationship goes both ways. you got to do the same thing for them that you want for them to do for you. Now, if you're a bit training solo and you don't have the privilege of having a training partner or don't want it, a bit nervous about it all, then I challenge you to go out there and say good day to some people in the gym that you're training in because you know what it's like you all train the same days same times too <laughs> often not fuck you all train similar things on the same days too just say to them hey no way I'll give you a spot where you're training today that will go a long way and you never know the relationship you might create and build because of that for me for example i have people that are not just training partners they are best friends they are family now because of the time and shared experiences we've spent in that gym. And I look forward to you creating those same relationships, having those same shared experiences and making lifelong friends. And who knows? Some of them out there even meet partners and stuff as well and make families, etc. So today's bad chat, the training partner, how fucking cool they are, how important they are to have incredible ones and be incredibly considerate of that training partner, the quality of a human that they are, looking, sitting back and looking at who you are surrounding yourself, making sure they are the absolute best. I've got one bit. Don't forget to thank your training partner. They are fucking awesome humans. They help you. They deserve you to say thank you. Thank you, training partner all the time for hanging back, helping you, and being there for you, spotting you, loading your bar, yelling at you, encouraging you, motivating you, inspiring you. Be grateful for them and show that gratefulness by every now and then just dropping them. Hey bro, hey sis, hey human. Thank you, appreciate you.